Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth with the Inner Light Moon Oracle. I'm here on the tail end of this full moon, full super moon. Um, we have moved into Taurus. The full moon was in Aries, but we're still doing a reading for this full moon cycle. And if you can take a moment, so this will just be as we're waning and still uh, feeling some of the power of that full supermoon from last Friday. Uh, take a moment and just see if any of these resonate with you. Excellent. And we'll now start with the leftmost pile and we'll move on to these in a moment. So I'll put these aside. Starting with the leftmost pile, if you chose the leftmost pile. Your card for this uh, full moon cycle is the civilization card, Cultivating Stewardship. And then behind you, we have the winter card, the season of water. And before you, is the essence of metal card so let's have a look at what's happening uh, for the people that chose the leftmost pile um, the full yeah, the card for your full moon is this goat zodiac being held in the arms of this 4-h student and civilization cultivating stewardship so this card really is about um, understanding our place in the world which really resonates with this uh, full moon in Aries that we had on Friday, which has to do with our fire, our passion, igniting our um, mission in the world. So this card uh, reflects a caretaking, a cultivating stewardship, um, taking care with the things you love, putting energy into the things you love, and understanding that we have a place in the bigger scheme of things. Um, and trying to narrow in on that place of what is your passion and contributing in that way to the bigger whole. Uh, this card really is warns against obsessiveness, especially with regard to relationships, and rather um, cultivating a sense of wholeness and participatory um, contribution to the whole. And then behind you, you're coming out of this winter card, the season of water. So coming out of this deep, deep element of water, deep stillness, a deep quiet. Um, and in that quiet is the time when seeds start to germinate and the quietness of winter actually allows a new growth to come. So you're coming out of this quiet season, a very meditative season, and moving into coming up for you is the essence of metal. When we see this card, um, metal is the season of autumn, the season that we're currently in. You see the Tao here. So the essence cards really represent the concentrated and focused energy of each element. And in particular, metal is extremely focused, decisive, and cutting away. Uh, removing everything that is not relevant. It's especially uh, good for the harvest season that we're in. This is the harvest moon we just, uh, our super moon we just got through. So harvesting and also letting go. Um, so that's what's coming up, looking back at the year and really embracing all the hard work and your seeds that have come to fruition. So, uh, leftmost pile folks, this is Elizabeth with the Inner Light Moon Oracle. Thank you for watching. And we will move on to the middle pile. So, if you chose the middle pile, this is the middle pile card. We have the freedom card Unshackled, Begin Anew. So, that's your card for the previous full moon and this full moon cycle. We're currently in the waning Gibbous cycle. Coming up is the seed, I'm sorry, behind you is the seed card. Patience and darkness for seeds to root. 
And then coming up ahead is this intuition card, clear vision, inner knowing. So for my um, middle pile folks, your card, it's the horse zodiac. Um, and the rider, slightly unstable, looks like starting something very new, beginning a journey, um, unshackled, beginning new. So really letting go of um, the old path and starting a new one. That means beginner was mind and having a fresh start. And this uh, rider is wearing a cap of seven colors. So all the chakras aligned, slightly unsteady on this horse zodiac that represents freedom and unbridled, um, unbridled power and unbridled um, passion. Just going forward, following your passion and following that path where you're led. Behind you, a seed card is a water card, patience and darkness for seeds to root. So we're seeing this, um, another water card coming out of this meditative state and really having the patience to let your seeds germinate, uh, not rushing things. The moon up here represents like the cycles of the moon and the cycles of time and the cycles of projects or the cycles of relationship relationships that everything has its time and order and it really does require patience faith and trust to move into that so coming out of a seed that you planted moving forward on the journey and coming up for you is this intuition clear vision inner knowing so uh, a wood card going into this place of trusting your intuition trusting your inner guidance uh, accessing that inner guidance, understanding um, that it's a practice uh, and it's a relationship with yourself, balancing your intuition and, and learning how to s connect with your intuition and be guided by your intuition. So for the inner, um, sorry, for the middle pile people, this is your full moon in Aries reading, even though we have just moved into Taurus, um, but this is reflecting the whole cycle of this full moon that we had, uh, the super moon we had past Friday. And moving on to the right pile, so if you chose the right pile, your card for this um, full moon is the rest card so leap rejuvenates behind you is the transformation card from the fire a deep and lasting change and before you is the spring card the season of wood so um starting with the rest card I, actually i want to start where you have come from because it looks like you, whenever the transformation card shows up the phoenix card you're really coming out of a really uh, profound change from the fire deep and lasting change. It looks like you're coming, you've come through quite a momentous um, birth because you see this little phoenix coming out of its egg and it will be birthed into this. So you have gone through the fire, it's behind you, and you have been transformed. And because of that, you need to rest. So. Right now, for this moon cycle, sleep rejuvenates. Like, allow yourself the space to just rest, recover, nurture your body, integrate. Integrate this, this huge transformation you've just gone through. And that just requires being very self-loving, uh, taking care of yourself, lots of self-care, and, um, and rest and enjoy that. And then we'll, you'll move into the spring card, this beautiful season of wood. The wood element is about sort of this natural growth that comes up in the spring, the season of wood. It's uh, not requiring very much. It's just a natural, steady discipline. It's got a work energy to it, but it's not like an arduous work. It's just the natural work that comes as the sun shines and the plants are watered and the fresh flowers come up. 
And so the season of spring coming forward for you, this beautiful season um, that's going to come out of resting and self-love and self-care, you're going to move into this um, really lush and abundant and just natural cycle of allowing the spring energy to come forth. So good things for you, the right pile folks who've really, um, this is like the really big card I see for you coming out of this um, tremendous cycle. And uh, this card as well, really allowing the integration of this change by, um, and maybe this is a new way of loving yourself, a new way of taking care of yourself, is allowing yourself to rest. So for everybody, that is the Full moon in Aries reading. I'm a little late on that because we're in Taurus now, but we're still in the full moon cycle. The last super moon of 2023 was on Friday, and the Aries is this is a great card for Aries, which is such a powerful fire sign. And Aries really asking us to honor our own fire and passion. So for everybody that was here today, thank you. I'm Elizabeth with the Inner Light Moon Oracle. This we have decks and guidebooks in the in the bio if you're interested uh, feel free to reach out and tap into your own inner wisdom using the deck uh, wishing you a very blessed uh, cycle and see you for the new moon